Hello everybody, welcome back to Green Cover Initiative. If you are a plant head like me and is interested in knowing more about plants and trees around you, please subscribe to this channel. Today, let's meet the Indian borage plant, also called the Mexican mint, Dottupatre in Kannada, Karpuravali in Tamil and Panikurka in Malayalam. The botanical name is Coleus amboinicus. It's a medicinal herb that we should all grow in our gardens. It's very easy to grow and propagate. My plant was growing in this pot from where it jumped down and started growing in the soil and it's thriving underneath this curry leaf plant and loving the filtered sunlight that it gets in the soil below. I also planted them in a pot along with some mint leaves and both of them are growing happily together. The plant grows to a length of about one meter with long trailing stems that can root at each of the nodes that touch the soil. The leaves are succulent and fleshy, bumpy like that of mint and it has a distinct fragrance especially when you bruise or crush them. The plant also produces small flowers that are light purple in color and they are held high on these tall stalks. This plant, the Indian borage, it's best for cough, cold and chest congestion. The leaves can be slightly warmed up on a pan till it's translucent and then squeezed by hand to remove the juice. This juice can be mixed with honey and even given to smaller kids for cough and cold. Adults can eat the leaves as is to help relieve chest congestion and cough. You can also boil the leaves in water and drink that decoction for relief from fever and cold. The leaves of the Indian borage can be added to hot water that you prepare for steam inhalation and it's very helpful to clear the nasal passage. This plant is also used in the treatment of headaches, small cuts, insect bites, stomach ailments, indigestion and a whole lot of other ailments. But here's a disclaimer that all home remedies should be used only with expert advice. Propagation is very, very easy. Just break off a small piece of stem that's about 10 to 15 centimeters with your hands and plant that in well-drained soil. As easy as that. It can even root in water. Hope you all grow this little medicinal plant in your garden. Hope you have a wonderful time growing them. Happy gardening to you.